So the pumpkin patch is coming along nicely. I can't believe how fast it's grown actually. I'm not sure if we're gonna make it to October without it just taking over the whole garden. So I wanna add a little pumpkin patch sign and make it to go here and it's gonna hang from either side so that it just looks cute and looks finished. Um, but I need to do it before all the vines grow over it. So I'm gonna do that today. So I've got this scrap bit of scaffold board. It's a bit battered, but my plan is to use this as a template. It's gonna be going landscape rather than that way. And I'm just gonna add like a, roughly a centimeter around the edge and cut it out with my jigsaw. And that's gonna be like the base for the main sign. And then I'm gonna like kind of sculpt it or carve it with my Dremel tool, but I've never really used it before, so I'm just hoping that it looks the way I can visualise it in my head. So the next part of this sign making video will be, oh, it's still really dirty. I'm going to use this template that I made. I might change the font because you can get free font generators on Google. So I'm just going to pick a kind of more signage looking um, font. And then I'm going to trace that onto this bit of paper and then do the good old fashioned, you know, where you scribble pencil or charcoal on the back and then go over your design on here and then the charcoal or pencil will leave a, an imprint of what you want and then you can kind of go over that and make it a little bit more solid so that's the next step <laughs> design that I've chosen to go with and um, I'm really hoping that the font is easy enough to do I'm thinking I'll kind of do it like I'll leave the main lettering as the protruding bit of wood and then I'm going to actually take away the bits behind and kind of sculpt it that way because I think if you take away from the background then this will look more 3D so I'm hoping that works out for me. <laughs> Next I'm going to be doing the charcoal on the back and then I'll place it down that way onto the wood and then I'll go over this and it'll imprint my design onto the wood.
Thank you.